Welcome back, Bob Grows here. Today we're outside. I'm gonna bring you a little bit of a, a soil update. What I built here is a rain gutter grow system. If you look up Larry Hall on YouTube, it'll probably show over here anyway in the suggested. Uh, he designed, recommends, instructs how to build these rain gutter grow systems. And basically this is just a rain gutter supported in between uh, some two by fours, right, drilled. I have some rain gutter here. There's two different kinds. There's this kind, uh, this is the contemporary, the K style, and there's also the new style. But uh, if you want, you know, if you want to know how to build it, you can watch on the side. I'm just going to do a quick little overview of the plants I have growing here. Uh, this is a relatively new system that I built. It can be done with uh, containers, plastic rigid containers, or it can be done with grow pots. Um, I'm sorry, grow bags. Those happen to be Walmart 50 cent bags, reusable. And uh, two different theories here. Uh, don't let the plants... Uh, sway you because the, the plants don't really reflect the growing style. These are plants that I saved. Those are uh, new plants that I bought from, you know, your box store, Home Depot, Lowe's. So basically this one is just a five gallon fire subs container that I used to use for one of my, you can see the holes here still, from my hydroponic setup. I still have it over there, uh, but these, these were rejects. So long story short, you drill a hole in the bottom, put a neck cup, and you fill it with soil top to bottom, and it wicks up the water from the rain gutter into the bucket. So you don't necessarily have to water these. These are wet because, you know, South Florida, it's raining. So it wicks up the water that it needs, and it drains out whatever it doesn't, and it works as it should. This works, you know, in a standard fashion. The grow bags work in a fashion uh, such as air pruning, right? So when the roots reach the end, they prune themselves, they start again, they do their thing. Uh, basically these, I cut a hole in the bottom, I put a net cup with some liner around it, a, uh, a permeable liner. I guess you can use a t-shirt or you can use uh, landscape frat fabric, which is what I used. I cut a hole in the lid and I placed it and the lid is there just to support the bag from falling in the hole. And again, it just wicks up the water. And you can also see some wicking action in the bag itself. You can see the color. These are different bags, different styles. Some are older, some are newer. These look larger. These appear to be five gallon. Those appear to be a little bit smaller, maybe four gallon. So this is just normal potting mix. Normally in his rain gutter grow system, he has his own mix that he recommends with peat moss, uh, compost, lime, other things. I didn't put that in here. Uh, it seems to be working fine. I will be putting hydroponic solution every now and then in the uh, reservoir gutter on the bottom. So I don't have to worry too much about the nutrients. From what I hear, the grow bag method works much better. Uh, obviously from the air pruning effect. But we'll see. You could also do it with these. You could drill holes in it and then line it with a, with a fabric of some kind. Or you could just drop the bag into here and you'll have a more rigid setup. But I wanted to give this a try. I've been really wanting to do some soil. So let me do a quick little overview. This is a cherry pepper that I saved. Uh, I don't know if I actually saved it. It doesn't seem to be growing really well, but we'll leave it there and let it do its thing. This one here, I believe is some type of bell pepper, again, that I saved. These were, these, these didn't look too hot in my uh, hydroponic setup. This one, I decided to put seeds. As you can see, something is sprouting there. There's a seed over there. Uh, these have what I believe are ghost pepper seeds. Um, so that's that. Here we have habanero. These are box store plants. They were much smaller when I bought them. They seem to be thriving and doing really well. Uh, as you can read, this is a uh, habanero. So we're gonna have to pucker up here. You'll see shortly, we have buds developing. Okay. Everywhere I don't see any buds on the on the bottom, so I guess none of them are falling off. But we're gonna have what appears to be a ton, an absolute ton of habaneros. This is the sister plant. This also came in the same container. I just split them up. I put one here. It came with a lot of stems, if you couldn't tell. That one container. So obviously, when you pick the containers uh, or the plants rather at the box store, uh, at the box stores, Home Depot, Lowe's. You pick one that has several plants in it, because then you can split it up. You get more, more value for your dollar. As you can see, this one's coming on with tons of flowers, tons of buds, a little ant. The color seems to be doing well. 
it seems to be transplanted very well again this is just normal potting mix uh, nothing special you don't you know you can see it's got perlite and other stuff in there to help it drain and wick here we have patio tomato this seems to be thriving very well I like the color of the leaves down here not so much those are the older leaves but if you look around the top it's looking very healthy we have flowers coming in absolutely everywhere here you can see how we do it the neck cup st sticks out the bottom of the bag you place the bag and kind of hangs out in this water and wicks it up uh, I just covered this off a little bit to help with mosquitoes or mosquitoes don't, don't really seem to be attracted to this but that was my reasoning and this also helps collect rainwater right it works like a little funnel don't mind the cars driving by uh, we got some flowers here from plants but see in there kind of simple you could automate this right now it's collecting just rainwater and just overflows when it needs to but i have the hose there to top it off when necessary also you can put a float valve which is how they recommend it normally float valve so these cars pass a float valve at the end here to a, a reservoir so it tops itself off and, and it's fully uh automated it just does its thing you top off the reservoir every now and then or you collect the rainwater in there and it fills it up but i really want to do this because i don't want to rely on any pumps running my hydroponic systems which they are still there we'll be doing a video on those a little bit later but i really want to get some soil going so there you have it guys. I really can't wait to see some habaneros. I'm sure they're gonna be super hot. They're gonna burn everything. Maybe we'll do some hot sauce. Anyway, thank you guys for following. Remember this is the rain gutter grow system. Rain gutter growing system. And uh, I plan to build another rail. Uh, th these are my cars here, <laughs> extras. Um, I plan to build another rail, put it next to it. And this is perfect for, for container gardening, gardening or in an area where you don't have access to soil. Here we have ficus or whatever growing. But on the concrete, obviously you can't grow much. But this is a self-watering concept uh, created by Larry Hall. You'll see him down here on the right. I'm sure to put in suggested results. But again, I thank you guys. I'll keep giving you guys updates on this. Bye.